Willkommen zu meiner Geekfest Europa Universalis 4 spielen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And speaking of which, since I was speaking a little German there. Wie sagt man Geekfest auf Deutsch? I'm actually kind of interested in that. How do you say German? How do you say Geekfest in German? Or if there's even a, an equivalent of it. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, let's uh, jump into our campaign here. We are going to go declare war on Altashar like I was speaking before. Um, we do have the papal points here, but we've already done the sanctioned papal war. So we'll just continue to get some mercantilism. So my plan is here to uh, declare war on Altashar, uh, feed all of Altashar's land to the Ghaznavids, my vassal, and then, of course, attack Ming. Um, the Ghaznavi, or excuse me, the Altashar, the Altashari army, I think they're like at 10k, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So let's do this. Unfortunately, I can't get any of my allies in. Why? Distant war. And it's all going to be distant war. Okay. So I could probably... It's not going to make a difference. See, we are going to be hurting on Diplo. That's the problem. <sighs> That's fine. And besides, I'm going to actually piece them both out. You know, I could actually... No, I can't because we have a truce with them. So let's go ahead and take out Argon. Let's get her ready here. All right, and then... Um... I do want, say, this man here. I'll have you just go in right away. We're going to have allies attached to this army here so we can actually do that. And then we're going to have to deal with Ming. And I do want to take over this uh, this chunk here in the north, or at least um, this part of the state here. Yeah, I'm going to need to take over at least uh, Chengde and Hua, Xuan, Xuanhua. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, we need to take over that so I can actually have the entire state. So, um... Ming hasn't... Oh, uh, there's Ming. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's, uh, group up all of our guys. Like we were doing before. And let's make sure that we actually have... a general. I think we're just gonna actually jump straight onto his army. Just straight up. And then I think maybe what we could do... What does the Ming have as far as a military right now? Let's have a, a gander. They, <laughs> they've got 190,000... 196,000 troops. Okay, so still nothing to be trifled with. Um, but I think I'll, what I'll do here is we'll take... We'll ta actually just take the entire stack and we'll come have them come over here and deal with this northern stuff. I do think I'm going to need to actually get another general here. So let's go ahead and make one. All right. The other thing we should also be paying attention to was the uh, our conquistador. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, our navy should be fully upgraded now. So let's go ahead and put them out here. It's just looks like a, some galleys and a bunch of transports. Okay. Um, sure, we'll grant the aid. Okay, so we got a Ming army sitting right there. Maybe we should actually cut them off. Yeah, I think that's what we're, we need to do here. Take care of this northern army of theirs. Let's uh, go ahead and... Fortunately... I could take out my... Conquistador, or wasn't my limit five? It was. So let's actually get another general. Oh wow, six fire, booyah! I will be taking that. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, so we got the one province up here. Um and start to actually annihilate their one fort. I think it's actually their capital fort. And then what we'll do here with this big-ass stack is we'll actually plop them on top of one of the the forts. And as far as our conquistador 
Okay. Wait. What's going on here? Oh. Had a way to date. Okay. It's fine. And as far as our coring goes... Yeah, we're, we're gonna be hurting on some monarch parts for a, uh, for a while. Uh, let's see here. That was gonna be a while. This one was coming up sometime soon. 98. And we just did this. Okay. So the next one we're gonna be able to do is what? Admin power? Yep. 98. Very well. Oh, it feels so good to be able to do this again. Alright, so... That takes care of this one fort, and then we'll be able to destroy their navy. Uh, let's see here. Let's zoom out. Okay, we got another fort over here. So let's not do that. Let's, um, split you guys in half. I'm gonna actually take my general to come over here and deal with their army. Potentially. Alright, then you guys, what I need to do is actually start to carpet siege this area out. Come on, damn it. Dude, what are you fucking doing here? Give me my goddamn army. Yes, give me that guy. Okay. And then we'll take the actual larger stack here to take care of this fort up here. Go ahead and get started on some of these other cheaper cores. Should have no problem here dealing with their navy. This nice big juicy stack here. Let's go ahead and wipe out this northern army. <laughs> the Altashari army is it's kind of floating around. <laughs> they have nowhere to go. Should be a relatively quick and easy war here. All right, why don't you guys come up here? Fortunately, we're going to be disgustingly overextended, but it is what it is. That's fine. All right, can we actually reach one of their armies? Oh, what the fuck! There we go. Can I get that one? Hell yeah. Okay, you are good to go here. Alright. Yeah, we'll have you do something like that. So here, we've got a small piece of Ming's navy. It's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna still stick around in the bigger stacks here. Because that's the... Responsible thing to do here. Um, Alright, instead of... You guys dicking around with this, let's actually zoom out. Uh, we have this other fort down here. Just go ahead and get it started on it. Alright, let's... uh. Kill up my navy a little bit here. Okay, you're sitting there doing nothing. Yep. Pile driving through these things. Alright, he's already locked in. Let's go ahead and take care of this other army. Speaking of which, how are we doing over here? We are doing fantastic. Boom, boom, boom. Another one bites the dust. All right. Right now, I'm just worried about forts. I'm not really worried about them. It's just that that's what I'm going to concentrate on. It's probably the better way to put that. Okay, so we got that one conversion done. Let's actually take care of this province here. 
so I can add that to the uh, trade company. And these troops over here are actually doing no good. So I could actually move them up if I got, say, military access. Yes. Okay, that is going to put us, I think, over our... I think over our limit, right? Yep. It's going to have to be that way just for the time being, which is fine. Not a big deal. I just want to move my army up. Okay, another army crushed with my stunning victories. So how are you guys doing? All right, there goes the Altashari Fort. Let's actually go over here and take care of their army. Do something like that. And as far as everything over here, you guys help out with the siege. All right, so we're just uh, sieging stuff out now. I um, guess I could take this one little stack here. You know what I could probably do? Is actually do a proper carpet siege. Yeah, something like that. Look good to me. All right, so we can actually cancel the military access. I don't need it anymore. Now that I actually have access to my armies. Yes, let's get some uh, defensiveness. Right, um, looks like there's one more province here I can actually explore, and then we'll take you guys up. Explore all this fogged out stuff up there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Actually, moved out of my way here. So this has been converted. Oh, god damn it. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to add... Motherfucker, I didn't mean to do that. Raising autonomy. I was actually... I thought it was actually something I could add to the trade company. This province here can be added to a trade company. It's weird that it's only that province and not some of these other ones that are over here. Whatever. Whatevs, man. Not a big deal. Um, I actually don't need my my one diplomat fabric or the uh, building up a spy network on Altishar. It should probably be done on the the Ming, of course. Okay, so you guys can come on here, gain some military power. Excellent. All right, got one more fort down. Um, let's see here. I know that we got some. Of these western forts. So let's go ahead and take care of those. This fort should fall relative, relatively quickly. Alright, so we'll have you go up there and crush them, and then we'll have you always go down to Kenton. I have no idea where their army's at. They must have explored up th in this area, uh, that territory. So let's just actually come over here and finish sieging them out. Um, what we do actually need to do here is make sure that we give this stuff up to the Gaznavids. And then I'll do the same thing probably with uh, Khan Gai and then uh, the Uyghurs here. Okay, so you're done. Move. You guys can move. All right, there's that other fort. Where? There we go. There's another one down here. So we got some lazy armies around here. 
So the Fatimids have insulted us. I should just go ahead and just wipe them out. The Fatimids are over here. We don't, actually don't even have an army positioned anywhere nearby, but we can make one. Oh, I take that back. Um, we could, totally could. I'm gonna position a mili or an army down here. I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. I think my, my CB against them is gonna go away before I even have that opportunity. Okay, let's uh, pause here. We need to actually redo our col colonization shite. Uh, let's see here. Their influence needs to be greater. Okay. Not a problem. I'm just blowing through their forts here. It's awesome. Right, let's go down here and deal with their military. Awesome. Look at that. Okay, so let's see here. You guys need to move. You guys need to move. You guys can be split in half. And then we got these other little stacks here. So, how's our Altashar here? Actually, have a lazy diplomat here, so why don't we actually do, say, um, subject countries? Oh, you know what I was going to do? I actually completely screwed up. What I meant to do was actually start to build a spy network up against Ming so we can get that additional. All the bonuses from having a large spy network when you're actually at war with them. Okay, you guys can come down here somewhere. Yeah, all these little provinces here. This one's done. Where are you guys headed to? Just continue the carpet siege. Give this to the Gaznavids. They are definitely murking up here pretty hardcore. Let's go ahead and start to catch their wandering armies here. And I think what I'll do in the interest of um, preserving my ships down here, we're going to actually... Come on down here to siege out this one province. I really just don't want these small stacks to de-siege stuff. Alright, let's take a look at our conquistador here. Okay, so you guys... Doing something like that? Alright. Then I guess I, what I could do is I could actually give my conquistador over here to explore all of this stuff. I also should probably be merging up some of these small stacks here because otherwise that's going to happen. Okay, 
you guys are good to go. So let's actually move you guys out. Or we have this small 10k stack. Actually, you know what? I think we could probably get away with that. So, General Chungus has died. I actually kind of really wish it, it would show me what army he was attached to. So, which general was it? Was it these guys? It was. Okay. But we still have the Conquistador here. Okay, so did manage to squash that little stack there. It's fine. Got a biggie. All these small stacks, I want you guys to actually just straight up merge up over here. So we can get a little defense in the area. Okay, Limpapo has finished converting. Very good. Welcome to the trade company. Alright, let's um, detach siege and come over here. Seed this to the Ghaznavids. Alright, I really want to pay attention to what's going on down here. Because I, I want this army to snipe these guys. Alright, I want you guys to stay put. So we have all these like little tiny stacks here that I need to need to micromanage some. Okay, you. We're gonna end up discovering whoever the hell that is, which is very good. up all these small stacks now. I want them all over here. How about the Altishari? Right, we're getting there. I managed to crush them. Looks like we're going to lose another small stack over here. Which is quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Not a big deal. Alright, we had this, uh, this stack, I think, could probably be moved down, like I was doing originally. Let's move you guys over. Uh, Kuban Separatists. So you guys are going to potentially form in Kuba or Nunu. Okay, so we'll go to Kuba. How big is this? 24k. Alright. Just move them into position then. All right. Finally, I can start to actually core those last couple of provinces. And once this uh, starts to actually core, I'm going to actually um, completely do some colonization over here. Alright, I think that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do as far as exploring with our conquistador so have you guys move on down uh, stand down our conquistador here and then once these guys are finished i'm going to attach the conquistador we're going to go explore whatever is in this region i don't know if these are actually provinces over here or if this is all part of the wasteland i guess we'll have to find it out Nice. Time to die.
Excellent. So, Gaznavids, the army. You guys get the Conquistador. Can we actually explore this stuff? We can. Awesome. So, what's going on here? Um, so, we have this little stack over here that is threatening to take over my my lands. And we got this nice big juicy army over here. You guys are going to uh, Ling Ling Yun. All right. One more down. So just out of curiosity, Ming. Uh, let's go suit for peace. So we definitely want this. Absolutely. You know what? I might as well just take all of this stuff. So I don't have to dick around with it anymore. I really want to cut off his... Their coastline. So I want something like that. Which won't be a problem at all. Alright, let's uh... Keep you guys in nice big healthy stacks like this. Yeah. Siege. Nope. Go up this way, please. Now we're taking the attrition here. But that's all right. It's all right with me. Okay, so it looks like Ming are trying to be bastards over here. Whatever, man. Yeah, buddy. Get some more cores that finish. Let's go ahead and... I should probably take a look at that one province that I could actually add to my trade company. This one, or it looks like it's in the middle of being cored. Okay. So I guess we'll just work on whatever. And another. Ah, oh, I feel so good. You know what? There is this time where I really want to take over their colonial nations, Alaska and California. But I really want to take out their mainland first before we do any of that. Okay, why don't you guys detach siege. Do something like this. You guys can actually be split up a little bit here. I, mean, I don't think he has any more forts. I think this is it. All right, let's um do something like this. So we are trading in Chinaware. All right. So I'm really not looking to fight Ming anymore. I really just want his land right now. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I think we're going to end up having to really wipe him out. All right, we got another fort here. Maybe that... Does that change your mind? No. He'll do this. So can I take over another province? He'll do that. Uh, I think we might be able to do that. I'd really like to actually take him out as far as his coastline. I always try to prioritize that. I think I'm going to take this big juicy stack up here to just wipe out these armies up here. Because why not? Yeah, he's got all these like little stacks around here. But he's trying to troll me. Oh yeah, baby. Let's give it a day. 
All right, how about now there, Ming? Uh, so close. So, so close. We could actually probably wipe out his navy again. Let's get our own navy into position here. I might have to reevaluate things because I really don't want some of those interior provinces. I actually really want this coast. So we'll definitely take a look at that in a moment. Although, these goddamn rebels here are going to ruin my day. So he'll do this. So if I decided to take that back, I don't think he's going to want to do that. So. Maybe some money? No money. Alright. I can live with that. It's fine. So I don't get hilariously overextended. Even though... <laughs> we kind of are. I mean, not we're not, like, entirely that bad, but... When you get up to about 100%, man. It's when you start getting all those awful events. All right, Mr. Black Flags, let's uh, send you guys home. Ah, oh, it feels so good. You know what? I think uh, I think what I should do here is build another fort. Build a fort right here. Okay, so we'll build it right there then. We'll upgrade the existing forts that I have in the area. Something like so. And as soon as we get access to our... Whatchamacallit? Once we get access to our uh, diplomat again, we'll actually feed all that land to... Gaznavids, like I was saying before. There's a good possibility. You know what I think I should do? Start fabricating claim over here on Khan guy. Because you guys are a tributary, yes? You are. And you guys have who is your ally? Korea. Okay. What about Baratia? You guys have no allies. You guys are tributaries. These guys are tributaries. So maybe I should probably go after uh, Uger. Because that'll bring in the Ming once again, and then I'll be able to feed this land over to them. I mean, if I did Baratia, maybe I should do both. Declare the two different wars over here. I really don't want to fight Korea just yet. All right, let's uh, group you guys up. No leader. Some of these bigger stacks. That yeah, would we'll do something like this. Alright, um. Alright, we'll see how that works. Although it's gonna be kind of stupid because we are gonna go to war with these guys again. Alright. We want all of your land, sir. And your money. Let's uh, have you revo revoke these cores. All of the cores, that is. Yeah, something like that. All right, what is the Gaznavis? What do you guys look like right now as far as your 24%? Excellent. All right, let's uh, take another little gander here at our colonial nations and whatnot. Pay off anybody's debt. Something tells me I'm going to need to actually decrease some tariffs over here to keep them happy. As a matter of fact, maybe I should do that now. Let's uh, decrease tariffs so they stay nice and happy. Ah. Uh. Still feels so damn good. Some more cores finished. Um, well, I guess we'll lose the prestige. OK, 
Hey, uh, what the hell? Really don't want to stick an army over here because I'm I'm worried about these Jin separatists actually crossing over into my territory. Although I suppose what I could do is I could take this uh, stack of twenty nine thousand. Same thing with you guys. Move you guys all on down. Right, you guys are still exploring. Um, what I want you guys to do, that's... Yeah, do something like this, please. And as far as our rebel uprising, it's still the Kubans. So they're at 90% right now. I think it might be behooving of us to actually install one of our super generals. Ah, uh, The Ming. Okay, we have our diplomat so who do we want to attack first the baratia or i'm not really worried about these guys i think i should probably take out them so let's um start to build up our spy network and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to go attack the ming again take over some more land that's how we do it's just going to be non-stop absolutely non-stop until i have these guys down to whittle down to the point where they're just a joke, and then I'm going to take over their colonial nations. Um, the other thing I should probably look at, by the by, is potentially taking our colonists, recall them. Uh, let's see here. Canadian will gain 10 liberty desire. Uh, where are you at? Um... Canadia, you have 31%. Let's actually not do that. Okay, so I really want to continue to colonize over here. But I can't. It's only going to be that one province. Uh, how big is this one, by the way? Thousand? Split you guys in half. So I guess what I'll do is we'll start to colonize over here. The question is, is where... So that's six. Let's get the highest development. I guess we'll take Lega here. And... How big are the, uh, the Kubans? 24k, okay. So you guys can just... be sitting pretty there. Come on, what the hell are you doing? Get your asses back over here. Yeah, I think it's time for us to just continually... Pound away at me. I know I keep saying this. Uh, do we have religious unity stuff? We do, but we can't have. We don't have access to it yet. And speaking of that, um, son of a bitch, I should have. Actually, why don't we do that? Why don't we cancel you? I want you guys to actually work on this province so we can add it to the trade company. You know what I actually probably should do is let's take these armies. I need one to go over here. I need to have an eastern army so I can blitz these guys down. Though there is the possibility that Ming aren't going to be able to deal with their separatists, then Jin just breaks off. Uh, they could lose loyalty, gain a whole bunch of money. They'll gain influence. Rather than not actually gain any influence, but whatever. Um, take a look at our estates. It was 98. Okay, how's our exploration going here? God damn it. So thankfully, we actually beat the, the Jin Separatists, but I, I don't want to fight them. I want them to win. Not going to happen, but whatever. 
It's fine. I don't want to have to deal with his goddamn rebels. That's my that's my whole thing here. What is the supply limit? 33? Okay. It'd be funny if he actually lost this battle. That would give me a little bit of a chuckle. Uh, I guess we're gonna get another round of mercantilism. It's fine. So we really don't have much to do here. We're just waiting on our claim. Or I guess claims if we really wanted to uh, get technical. I mean, if we wanted to sit around and wait. So we can get uh, the Guild of St. Luke, which would give us yearly prestige, less taxes. Um, I really don't need to worry about prestige. So I think we, I think we will decline. Okay, so what is the... was this province here finished? Okay. And there's our rebels. Now, as far as this area over here goes, it looks like somebody actually owns this. I think it's probably... it's the Miami. The Miami owned that. Okay. And... Let's see here. We've got the rebels. You know what I should probably do is take this uh, this stack here. Why don't you guys actually get the the general since you're going to be the first ones there? So it looks like we're going to have some more rebels, and they're all going to be over here. It's fine. Dongo here has been converted. So as far as our conquistador, why don't we actually put you over in Altai Ura Ankai? So we can get you in a position to attack Baratia. How many troops do the Baratians actually possess? Baratia. The land of very bland cheese. Okay, so you guys got 21,000, so I just need to actually really take one stack. One nice juicy stack come up there and deal with their actual mainland. So what I could do, since I'm going to be declaring war in uh, Bar Baratia, is I'm going to feed this land over to the Ghaznavids, and I could potentially actually just gobble them up, which I may investigate that, but my main focus is actually on Ming itself. So it looks like Kam is now in war with Bengal. Bengal? Bengal. Let's get our claim here. Doesn't really make a difference to me which... Um... Sure, we'll just do this one. Let's uh, fabricate our claim here. So I guess we'll do... Kabdu? Kabdo? And we're gonna send our... Diplomat home. So we can get them into position to actually declare the war itself. Nice. We, I think we still had actually had the mission to... For our... We did. For reducing overextension, and it looks like 
By the time we actually declare this war, what I might do is actually just wait until all this stuff is finished. So we can just finish up the mission. I think that would be the most prudent... good that these uh, Chinese provinces are actually getting fully core here. God damn it. Okay, so we can get what? We can get some admin tech. Uh, I think we are going to hold off on that. I think what we'll do is we'll just boost my stability up to three. Although our current monarch here is getting kind of old. Cheese the fifth. He's 51. So something tells me I'm going to end up needing to boost my stability up here in a minute after he dies. All right, so all of our cores finished. We got our our shits, our mission. We should rely more on trade income. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. We're just going to hold off on taking a mission. All right. Let's uh, take care of our rebels here. And we have a... Uh, Chuck one. As in, like... Chuckway. It's over in North America, isn't it? Nope. Oh, it's all over here. So these, uh, this group over here is gonna be busy dealing with the rebels for a while. Okay. So anyways, let's, uh... Gonna have to cut off the episode here. Made some more progress. We're going to make some even more progress here. We're going to feed the Ghaznavids a little bit more. We're going to feed them the western half of Baratia. And then we're going to gobble up some more Ming territory. That's the plan. That's always the plan. So I will see you guys in the next episode when we do all of the above. So take care and have a good one.